opponent process theory is a psychological and neurological model that explains how certain types of experiences, particularly emotions and colour vision, involve opposing forces that balance each other over time. In colour perception, this theory suggests that the human eye processes colours in pairs, red-green, blue-yellow and black-white. When one colour in a pair is activated, the other is suppressed. In emotions, the theory explains why intense feelings are often followed by opposite reactions, such as excitement turning into calmness or fear leading to relief. This model helps explain various sensory and emotional experiences by showing how opposing processes interact. Opponent process theory was first proposed by Ewald Hearing in the 19th century to explain colour vision, suggesting that certain colours are perceived through opposing processes in the retina. Later, in the 20th century, psychologist Richard Solomon expanded the theory to explain emotional responses, particularly in situations involving repeated exposure to strong emotions. His research showed that the brain adjusts to intense feelings by creating an opposite reaction over time, helping maintain emotional balance. This extension of the theory has been influential in understanding motivation, addiction, and emotional adaptation. One example of opponent process theory in colour vision is how people experience afterimages. If someone stares at a red object for a long time and then looks at a white surface, they may see a green afterimage because the red sensitive cells become fatigued, allowing the green sensitive cells to take over. In emotions, the theory explains why activities that cause fear, such as roller coasters, can also lead to enjoyment. The initial fear triggers an opposing feeling of excitement, which can make the experience pleasurable once the fear fades. This process also plays a role in how people adapt to repeated emotional experiences over time. One strength of opponent process theory is its ability to explain why people experience contrasting emotions in response to the same event. For example, someone who initially dislikes a new experience may come to enjoy it as their emotional response shifts over time. Another strength is its application to motivation, as it helps explain why people seek out intense experiences, knowing that a positive reaction often follows a negative one. Additionally, in colour vision, the theory provides a strong explanation for how the human eye processes colours, which aligns with how colour-sensitive cells in the retina function. One weakness of opponent process theory is that it does not fully explain all aspects of emotional regulation. While it describes how opposing emotions balance each other, it does not account for complex emotional states that involve multiple feelings at once. Another limitation is that in colour vision, the theory does not entirely explain how the brain interprets colours beyond the initial processing in the retina. Additionally, in emotional experiences, the opponent process does not always occur predictably, as individual differences and in past experiences can influence emotional reactions in ways the theory does not fully address. An alternative to opponent process theory in colour vision is the trichromatic theory, which suggests that the eye detects colour through three types of cone cells sensitive to red, green and blue light. This theory explains how the eye initially perceives colour, while opponent process theory explains how the brain interprets it. In emotions, a possible alternative is the James Lang theory, which proposes that emotions result from physiological changes in the body rather than from an opposing reaction. While both alternatives offer useful perspectives, opponent process theory remains important for explaining how balance is maintained in both sensory and emotional experiences.